What is going on guys? So I wanted to bring this video for you today. I wanted to actually do a walk around video of my 2012 Camaro RS. Now I know I've done a lot of videos on this car before, but I haven't actually done a, a proper walk around. So I wanted to give a give you guys a nice walk around and just show off some quick things that I've done to the car. <laughs> Don't mind the fact that it's a little bit dirty as you can tell, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna get that washed. But let me just give you a nice quick walk around. This is the RS model, it's the 1LT. It's a manual transmission. Some quick things that I did so far, I just blacked out the front bow tie and the RS symbol. Uh, but besides for that, the front end is pretty stock still. Uh, it does have the HID projector headlights. Then as we go off to the side, it has a nice sloping effect. And then as we come around to the back, what I did do so far is I blacked out my rear uh, tail lights I did those two obviously those two as well but uh, the little reverse and the little side marker so those are blacked out what I'm planning on doing next is taking off this uh, badging and that badging as well uh, a couple other little things uh, that I did I just put this uh, little Decepticon logo up there just because if I wanted to do something different I am debating on if I want to get louvers put on or not. I know that's much more of a Mustang thing, but I really like the way that they look. I think it would clean up the car nicely. Uh, let me just show you underneath the hood real quickly. Oh, it's locked. If you go in, just a normal unlock. And as you can see, this is nothing special. It's the six-cylinder uh, Camaro engine. Um, I did just clean up this just because of when I got it, it was a little bit dirty, so I just cleaned that up. But everything underneath the hood is pretty stock for right now. What I do plan on doing in the near future is getting a strut bar, and I am going to get a cold air intake put on. Not sure exactly which ones yet, but that's the plan for the near future. But besides for that, yeah, everything is pretty much stock. And now as we go into the interior, as we go right in real quickly. As you can see, this is what it looks like. I do have my radar detector hooked up. It's not uh, hardwired in right now. Um, I am gonna get a better solution for this, but right now I just have this like this. But this is what the inside looks like. Pretty much I have everything stock still. Um, this is the manual transmission, as I said before. Everything's pretty much stock inside the vehicle right now. If you've seen my video that I did before, the five things I hate about the Camaro, you'll know that I have a complaint about the back seats. But I, you know what? I want to actually take back a little bit of what I said about the back seats. They're not so bad. I, I was able to put two people back there. Um, they were shorter, but you know, it wasn't comfortable for them for a long period of time. But they were able to go back there. So that's what they look like. Who knows? I am also thinking about maybe doing a rear seat delete just because I... Barely ever have anyone back there. Usually my back seats for my book bag. And uh, also this is the 4th of July weekend, so America. But otherwise than that, everything's pretty bare bones stock. But I wanted to show it off really quickly because I didn't do actual proper walk around. Let me just do one quick walk around. I am gonna do a in-depth review on this vehicle. Just for right now, I'm just, I've only had the car for probably about two months now, but I wanna make sure I get a real good review before I put out what are my final thoughts on this vehicle I want to actually give you know just have a little bit more time before I give my final thoughts on this vehicle but thanks guys so much for watching this video if you like this video check out some of the other videos that I've done I'll see you guys in the next video and see you guys